people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another very exciting FNAF news video, and welcome to FNAF news, I am sick edition. So apologies if I look and or sound horrible, but this news is absolutely massive, so of course I had to jump in and make a video on it. Because we have gotten not just one, but likely multiple brand new FNAF games just teased by Click Team. And before we hop into what exactly these teasers and trailers are, because yeah, we do technically have a trailer, Click Team is the company behind behind the ports for the official FNAF games, going to mobile, going to consoles. They also made Click Team Fusion, the game engine which Scott made the original FNAF games in, so this is official, this is legit. But throughout this whole year, and more especially the last couple of weeks, people have noticed that Click Team is making some very interesting tweets in regards to FNAF. And this all starts back in April of this year, where as you can see, Ultimate Custom Night got a brand new update on mobile. And Click Team threw together this video showing off what exactly changed, revamped and improved user interfaces, subtitles in 11 languages, you know, stuff like that. But you may notice the graphics used for this video are pretty interesting. First up, we've got hand units stretched to fit like a gigantic iPad type device. But more interestingly, people spotted the background, and especially at the start of the video where we can see pretty clearly this is a party room in a FNAF location. We got illustrations of the characters up on the wall, Chica, Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, the checkered board pattern going around. We got like a happy birthday banner over here, tables, chairs, gift boxes, a door right here, you know, confetti, tired flooring. But keen-eyed FNAF fans will know this party room is not at all shown in any of the FNAF games, FNAF 1, FNAF 2, you know, Security Breach, any game that has party rooms, it does not look like this. And so naturally, FNAF fans are curious, so they asked Click Team, where's this from? Click Team actually responded saying that they made it from scratch. Further clarifying saying, to be clear, we worked with community member Judy, who cooked up the following mock-up sketch. Then our new shiny in-house graphic group turned it into a 3D scene. The scene itself is a mock-up for an idea we had, and rather than waste the work, it's being repurposed for this trailer. So not only do we get behind the scenes sketches for this room, which definitely means there's some bigger picture going on here, they basically laid out for us, hey, there was some bigger picture going on here. It seems like whatever they were working on didn't pan through, and so they were just like, well, we got this room we modeled, might as well throw it up as a background for one of our FNAF videos. I think fans will enjoy that, right? But that was it for a bit. That never really went anywhere, Click Team never really addressed it, they never used any new promotional material like that in their trailers, so everything was quiet for months up until last month in October, where they made this tweet on the 10th saying Click Team is looking to hire some people. We need an Unreal Engine programmer, keep that in mind, Unreal Engine, 3D character artists, and 3D environmental artists. The work is milestone-based and will be done as independent contractors. Send us your resume via PM at ClickTeam. Ask your questions here, hashtag FNAF. Now, immediately, people are like, why are they using the FNAF hashtag? And then we scroll down, and we got greeted by Lolbit the shopkeeper. In some very classy attire, I will say Lolbit looking good there. But once again, this is a brand new environment. Lolbit has been a shopkeeper in tons of FNAF games, FNAF World, the, the Freddy and Space games, right? But never in this setting with this art style. And so once again, FNAF fans asked, what is this? Well, it's for a secret project. Okay, where's this render from? We can't tell you that just yet. It's like, okay, okay, well, they're cooking something. We're just gonna let them cook. And then a few days passed, and we get this brand new poster. Click Team saying, we want to thank the absolutely amazing FNAF community for their response to our talent ad. If we didn't respond to you, we wanted to let you know we appreciate you reaching out. We hope to show you soon what we are cooking. In the meantime, check out this work poster we found. And as you can see, it is a caution poster with someone putting their hand inside Freddy Fazbear. Is that a movie reference? I'm not entirely sure. Stay clear of the animatronics while we finish construction. And once again, this art was made by community member Judy. And so the cogs are really turning now. We got Lolbit, we got a caution poster of Freddy Fazbear, we got a brand new party room, like fully modeled, textured, lighting, you know, like, what are they cooking? And then Halloween rolls around, and Click Team makes a very ominous post just sending out a link to a YouTube video, and this is what's in the video. As you can see, it is once again, another new environment. Again, likely a party room. We can see the tablecloth right here with some boxes, presumably gift boxes, a flashlight right here, and two plushies of Freddy and Bonnie. And once again, if you look closely at the environment, you can see the checkerboard pattern going around the walls. This looks to be a door of some kind, like this is once again, another establishment in this random FNAF location. Now, unfortunately, that's all we get in this video. You'd assume since it's two minutes long, we'd get a little bit of secrets here and there throughout, but 
that's it. It's just this with some lightning and happy Halloween. But once again, people were asking, Click Team, what are you cooking? Please, just like a little bit of crumbs. What are you cooking? And they said, the only thing I can say this time around is that this is a recording of Click Team Fusion 2.5 plus. By the way, remember when I said, keep in mind that Unreal Engine screenshot with LolBit? If you haven't caught on yet, that is two different game engines, Unreal Engine and the Click Team Engine, which means these are two different projects. Whatever that LolBit game is, is completely different from whatever this game is with the creepy dolls in the in the dark ominous party rooms but what if i told you that is still not it because if you go to click team's website clickteam.com you're gonna see this lovely ad for all the fnaf games and even the fnaf movie which is nice if you click on this you get sent to this glitchy part of the page let me scroll down where you get to play fnaf movie okay well you don't actually get to play the fnaf movie scott's already done that troll but it does take you to a directory where you get to click out oh i want to play fnaf 1 wow i can get it on these platforms i want to play pop goes arcade wow i can get it on just steam right now but you may have noticed something interesting about this page the bottom right hand corner of your screen do you see that fnaf movie sign do you see that blinking light on the sign? FNAF fans, we already know what we gotta do. Let's click this flashing light and let's see what we get. Because we actually get something very interesting and that is this brand new picture of an illustrated FNAF office. And once again, this is a drastically different art style than all the other projects we've looked at. This is hand drawn. This isn't 3D modeled. You know, it doesn't look like the lol bit poster. It doesn't look like the rendered rooms we've seen uh, with the party rooms. And a lot of FNAF fans have pointed out some of these items in this office have very thick, bold outlines on them. For example, this bottle right here, this cup, almost as if we're supposed to click on it, though unfortunately clicking on it does nothing, it just reloads the page. But like this item right here also has a pretty significant outline, so that's led a lot of fans to assume whatever this project is, is going to be some sort of point and click adventure, which I'm absolutely in love with. I love games like that, uh, so having an official FNAF spinoff game with point and click aspects, maybe even escape room aspects could be nice. You know, you're trapped in the office, you gotta find your way out. You're trapped in the safe room, you gotta find your way out. Though it does look like the door is open right here, so we could just leave. People have also pointed out whatever the silhouette is, it looks like some sort of humanoid figure. So again, protagonist, antagonist, Mike, William, whoever. Click Team in the past has also just tweeted out random assets from the FNAF games like this FNAF 3 poster with Freddy, or this drawing from the FNAF 6 office, which we have never seen in full. You can't even see Rockstar or Chica in the game itself. It would make sense for them to have some at least connections with Scott, because like I said, they are porting the official FNAF games, but having assets like that, like full scale, high resolution of like a drawing in FNAF 6, like, they got bigger connections than I than I think we realized. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any answers for what this project is, what these projects are, how many projects there are. Maybe it's just one big project and there's a whole bunch of different art styles, but I find that to be unlikely. I think there's at least two projects because like I said, one of them is in Unreal Engine, one of them is in Click Team Fusion. So I'm very curious, your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. Do you think it's Fred Bears? Do you think it's the Unwithered FNAF 2 location? Do you think it's just going to be some cute short spin-off games? Do you think it could be an official FNAF movie game? The point and click adventure one does kind of look like the office we see in the FNAF movie. It also doesn't help that we literally click on the FNAF movie sign to get there, but I don't know. Again, anything, I'd love to know your thoughts, and hopefully pretty soon we can get some sort of explanation for what's going on here. But that's gonna do it for this video. Like I said, hopefully once I feel better, we can get back to some FNAF movie info, because there's been a lot, a lot of secrets we haven't uncovered just yet. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.